Hi, I'm Rabbit, and I'm a go-getter. Hey, what's your sexual orientation? Uh, hi, Dispatch. I thought we weren't allowed to do personal questions. It's for the job. What? What's the job? The job is that you have to pretend like you're dating some dude. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. The things I've done for you, you worried I won't kiss a guy? Hey, I don't know if you suck dick or not. I asked Toad and he wouldn't do it. I pulled out fingernails, dude. I know, I, I put know. them back in. Why? Well, you know me, I'm a go-getter. Okay, well now you're a go-get him, okay? What's your sexual orientation? Money. Is that enough? Do you want more wine? Actually, I'd like more details. Like, who is this for? Okay, so, about 10 years ago, I... <laughs> Are you sure you don't want more wine? I don't drink. Oh. Well, this is like a wine night, so I prefer if you did. Do you maybe have some juice that looks like wine? I have pomegranate juice. Perfect. Uh, once again, why is this happening? Okay, so about 10 years ago, you remember how when you used to leave your Facebook logged in, your friends would come on and they would write, I'm gay on it? Right. So I had this friend named Jason, who was a real writer kid. And one day I left my Facebook logged in on his computer and he wrote me like a three page coming out letter. And, <laughs> It was beautiful. Almost had me convinced. And at first, I was really mad. But then, I got this text from this really popular girl, Maxine, who I went to school with. And she was like, I feel like I've always been really mean to you, but I never realized what you were going through. And she asked me to sort of hang out. And so we've been spending time together because she had always wanted a gay best friend. I'm sorry, did you say 10 years? And she's beautiful. She's perfect. But the last few years, I think she's been getting kind of suspicious. And don't get me wrong, I do my best. Like I read the literature, I stay informed. So I told her that I started seeing this guy named Jeff. That's you. Jeff. Yeah, why don't you top me off? Listen. This is going to be a super simple job, okay? We hang out here, get to know one another, convince her that you and I have had sex, and then you get paid. Oh, um, are you gonna do a voice? Because I don't do a voice. I think Jeff is a little more mask. <laughs> Are we sure about that? Maybe of the two of us, I'm the more mask one? Open the fucking door. All right. Oh my God. Bobby said you were gorgeous. That is an undersell. Everything's perfect. No to the shoes, but these nails, wow. <laughs> Bobby and I love Riesling. I can't drink white right now, doctor's orders, but I wish I could. Bobby's the best at picking wines. Oh, what was that wine that we had at the Beverly? Babes. Hmm? What? Babes, don't be hitting on my man, Maxine. Oh my God, I would never, not in like 10 years. Oh, well, you're lost. This man is a Spartan. Mm. Whoa. Um, sorry, too much of the wine. Um, Jeff, could you help me with something in the kitchen, please? Is this 
like a thing for you? A thing? Yeah. Are you, are you trying to hook up with me? No. Do you have like sexual interest in me? What I have is professional interest in doing what you paid me to do. Okay. Can I ask you something? What is the end game here? What do you think is gonna happen? That doesn't, you don't need to know that. Okay, well, I could help you better by now. Okay, so, I wanna one day be like, hey, I think I'm bi. And then I will slowly slide down the spectrum until I'm in her type range and then one day, I hope she'll be like, oh my God, it was you the whole time. How gay is Bobby the character? Like, do you two sleep over? Yeah. I see. It's excruciating. Okay, I think, listen, I think you should kiss me. Out there? In here, so that you can sell it out there. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna practice with you. Look, I don't want her seeing me being touchy with another man at all, because it'll make me seem like less of a sexual prospect. You know, for a guy who's pretended to be gay for 10 years, you're kind of homophobic. It's internalized homophobia. It's not if you're not gay, motherfucker. It's internalized, internalized homophobia. So I hear you two have the best story of how you met. Yeah. We met in line at the ATM. People meet at the ATM. Well, when you see someone like Bobby, you're like, he can know my pen. He can know <laughs> anything he wants. We actually got to talking because we had the same pen. Oh my God. Wait, what, what are the odds of that? One in 10,000. Oh, what was it? The pin. Oh, we shouldn't say. <laughs> Bobby and his secrets. <laughs> it was insane. It was so crowded and everyone was moshing so hard. And I got pressed up against a wall and I could have very easily fractured something or died. And Bobby appears and pulls me out of this. Oh, it was less heroic than she's making it sound. No, you were like, I don't know. You saved me. <laughs> Ugh, how do I keep running out of wine? Oh, there's uh, another bottle down in the basement. Oh, BRB. Listen. I can see you looking at me like I'm a creep or some kind of perverse wolf in sheep's clothing. I just gotta be clear with you. I would be gay forever if that is what she wanted. I just, I just think she's perfect. And I think there's some credit to doing this for 10 years, never trying anything or asking for anything. And I just, I just like her. And I like to think that maybe one day she could like me. Maybe she won't, but I'm not a bad guy just for having hope. We're out of wine, guys. Oh no. Well, there's a place on the corner. Oh, I'll go. I'll take your new boy toy. Oh. Are you... I'll interrogate him. Give him the big brother talk. Don't worry. We'll be right back. <laughs> so are you gay? Um... Bobby's not, that's why I'm asking. I don't know who told you that, but... He's been poorly concealing the same erection since 2012. So are you a prostitute? No. 
No, no, I'm right. You're an actor? Sure. Kind of. And you don't like men? I'm actually asexual. So you don't like anybody? I don't think about it. Mm. Why do you do this? I'm an addict. It keeps me busy. Mm. Hey, can we circle back to the whole you knowing thing? I'm more perceptive than Bobby thinks I am. So why haven't you... Outed him? Told him I know his big secret? Uh, I don't know. I love him. I love having him as a friend. I love him in the same way that you probably love people. Non-sexually. Maybe I should fake my own death. I actually know a guy for that. <laughs> um, please don't tell Bobby that I know. You're keeping him like a pet. I know he's paying you and I'm not, but Jeff, you've been here for one night. I've been here for 10 years. Can you confidently say that Bobby and I don't love each other? Even if I don't love him in the same way that he loves me, we're happy. You sure he'll be okay getting home? I'll be fine. Nothing bad ever happened in an Uber. <laughs> You're a keeper, Jeff. I always hoped you'd find someone like this. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> that went really well. That went well, right? Oh, my God. When you guys went off, what, what did you talk about? Um, addictions. Oh, mistress mine, where are you roaming? Oh, stay and hear your true love's coming That can sing both high and low Trip no further, pretty sweeting Journeys end in lovers meeting Every wise man's son doth know what is love, tis not hereafter Present mirth hath present laughter What's to come is still unsure In delay there lies no plenty Then come and kiss me sweet and twenty Youth's a star will not end.